Hi everybody, Chef Leo here with another edition of Ask Leo Pizza. Today I'm in my headquarters here in Chicago with a very special guest. Today I have the owner, president, CEO of Carmelina Tomatoes, Mr. Matt Maslowski. Matt, thank you very much for coming today. Leo, thanks for having me. Really appreciate uh, knowing the fact that we're going to be working together. We've got this great uh, plan to go forward, how we're going to uh, develop and uh, promote the uh, the Ask Leo Pizza program, uh, Forno Bravo, who's a great sponsor for you, I know, and of course, uh, we got we to gotta put the plug in for Carmelina San Marzano, Italian tomato products. I, t I tell you what, you know, you know this story, I'm going to tell my, my guests here, I've been using your tomatoes for as long as I can remember. To me, it's really easy uh, to be part of your team because it's a product that I believe in very strongly. And uh, you know, again, everybody out there that uh, that has had my pizzas or has called me and sent me emails about my pizzas, all say the same thing. Once they try my pizza sauce, they leave their head scratching. What's going on? How do you, how is this sauce so good? Again, it's because of the quality ingredient that goes into it. And again, the tomatoes are awesome. So uh, for me, I love those tomatoes. So again, it makes it very simple to do my job. Well, it's good to be here. I think uh, we'll have some some fun time today talking tomatoes. Uh with uh, Leo Spizzieri, <laughs> Master Pizzio. Uh, I love that, right. I love that. So uh, as you can see, I got a little bit of wine and uh, it's uh, a good it, way to kick the, the, uh, the meeting off, right? That's right, let's right. have a little salud. vino. Salud. <laughs> salud. Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. <laughs> let's, why don't we cook some, make some uh, a little idea. appetizer while we're drinking this wine, all right? The appetizer that I'm gonna make is gonna feature the cannellini bean from Carmelina. And then what I got here is simply just some um, some olive oil poached tuna. This is Italian tuna that's poached in olive oil. You're gonna oh, you're gonna notice I also keep that oil from the tuna. I never get rid of this either. Nice. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this just like this inside here, and I'm gonna put this in my bowl, and I'm gonna make like this quick little salad, if you will. So I've got my tuna. I'm gonna add to this a little bit of. Um, Spanish onion okay not a lot just a little bit again to give it a little bit of bite on top of this I'm gonna take just a little bit of lemon juice now you've got and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in one 28 ounce can of your cannellini beans the okay. Carmelina Carmel cannellinas uh, this is um, this is really nice again because all I'm gonna do here I'm gonna start to give this a little bit of stir but you'll notice that I'm gonna take just a little bit of sea salt here. Yep. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit of black pepper here. I'm gonna give this a really nice stir, just so like Leo, this. What's the secret ingredient? The secret ingredient to me is the bean. Yeah. Because again, the, way, the re reason I like the bean in here is because as I'm stirring this, I'm gonna to start to break this tuna up and it kinda of just flake it, all right? But you'll notice that as I'm stirring, I'm getting underneath here and I'm kinda of like mashing a little bit of these beans. The reason I mash is because I want to give two different textures, you know? So you've got the part that's whole, you've got the part that's uh, kind of like uh, this puree, if you will, and it kind of makes a, a glue, you know? Earlier you talked about that starch that's inside of the bean as right. it comes in. So again, I think that this is uh, th this gives you a really good texture. Now let me show you how I'm going to finish this here. Looks great too. Thank you very much. I'm going to take a little bit of fresh parsley. This is Italian fresh leaf, flat leaf parsley. parsley. And um, I'm going to give this just a real quick rough chop. And the reason I'm going to do is obviously I'm going to give this a little bit of color just like this. And I'm going to add this inside of here. Okay. I took a grill pan and I actually toasted up some just some bread. All right. So this is going to be the base of this bruschetta. We're going to create something that's very, very special. I'm going to make a, uh, let's make some good portions here. We're hungry. Let's do this. We got a place to put that too. There you go. And that was actually the fish I really wanted to use. So you got uh, the same idea as I do. How's that? That's perfect. Nice bowls you got here too, by the way. Thank you very much. I know the. I know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> and really, all you could do is uh, you're just getting these little crostini made ahead of time. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little scoop of this on top. And make these little mounds, just like this. And I'm going to put this right here in the dish. I'll help you arrange. A little bit of bruschetta with Carmelina San Marzano cannellini beans. 
and Italian poached tuna. Healthy, simple, and good. That's it. That's okay. the name of the game. Here's to you. Thank you, Chef. Okay. Thank you, Matt. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I, appreciate, I appreciate you giving me that uh, props. But I'm so used to having a chef next to me inside of my kitchen. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm not used to having a, a big boss uh, uh, with me. Listen, I wouldn't, I wouldn't miss this for the world. Thanks very much. That's a great presentation. Thank you. Should we try it? Well, I think so. Salud. Salud. Mm. Mm. Really good. <laughs> That's great. So we're back, and what I want to do right now, since I have Matt here from Carmelina Tomatoes, I actually would like to finally show everybody how I make my pizza sauce. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, or maybe you could actually help me. Okay. If you want to, uh, if you just want to give me, you know, maybe a couple, two or three spoons right inside the food mill here. And now, then I'll... while we're doing that, you're also going to notice that the juice or the thickness of the product is designed to help you get a full yield out of this. Give it a quick grind. I'm going to show you how I finish the sauce. I got one ounce of uh, of sea salt here. Okay, this is fine sea salt. I'm going to just stick this in like this. And then I've got 91 ounces of that now ground tomato that we did through the food mill. And I'm just going to give this a quick stir. And I think as long as we got this beautiful sauce that we just made, why not make a pizza? I'm up. So what I'm going to do right now, Matt, I'd like to use that sauce and I want to make a pizza. You in for pizza? Uh, you know I'm always in for pizza. <laughs> um, I actually just took a piece of dough out. This is one dough ball that I'm using. And I'm just going to stretch this dough ball very simply here. I'm going to use my fingers and I'm just going to dimple it like this. So, I got this beautiful dough. You're right, I didn't overwork this, so I still have a lot of those gas bubbles inside. I'm gonna use this tomato sauce, these these um, these whole peel tomatoes that we ground through the food. I like to use two and a half ounces, so I use one and a half spoons. I'm gonna take a little bit of fresh basil, okay? This is very similar to like a, uh, uh, a margarita pizza that you would see, all right? I'm gonna put some basil on here, nice and fresh. Got some, uh, this is just some fior di latte, some fresh mozzarella. I'm just gonna sprinkle this around, okay? Got that. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna randomly take these whole peeled, I'm sorry, these uh, these cherry tomatoes and these datterini, and I'm just gonna spread these around here like this. You can see these datterini. Uh, at this time, all I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna give this just a little bit of olive oil, mm. right? I'm gonna give this just one little ribbon, okay? And we're done. So man, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get my pizza up on top of my peel like this. Then I'm just gonna go right into my oven right here. What are you running the oven at? So I like, I like to keep my oven a little bit cooler um, because a little bit different than uh, you would see, let's say in Naples, where they run that oven at uh, let's say 900 degrees. Right. I like the texture of my pizza to be a little bit more crispy. It'll eventually start to pop in there. You know? can actually I'm gonna pull this out so you can take a look at it. I'm gonna go to the camera. Can you see that? This is perfectly baked. Again, I've got just the right amount of consistency, that juiciness of the tomato. Should hear some. Can you hear how crispy yeah. that pizza is? The old fold, right? New York just style. A little, just a little flip. That's it, just a little flip, and this is gonna go. They call this a portafoglio in, uh, in, uh, in Naples. Oh man. That's not right? You know what? Salud. Mm. I think we need to make about five or six more of these. Matt, I really want to thank you today for coming into my kitchen, for being a guest on Ask Leo Pizza. And if anything in the future you need from me, please, I'm just a phone call away. Leo, it's been a pleasure to be here. Fantastic presentation today. Thanks for treating our food as good as you do. Here's to you, my friend. Salud. Thank right. you. It's a good health. Thank you.